Hey everybody, this is Mungo Dark Matter, and today I thought I'd show you how you can create a um, terrain using the program Gaia, and then take that terrain and uh, pull it into World Painter, uh, and you can even do edits within World Painter, and then you can generate a Minecraft world. Uh, so I'm going to try to do this quickly. I'm going to do just a quick example. I'm not really going to go into how Gaia works, but I will show you how to do a quick uh, landscape uh, so that, or quick terrain so you can use it uh, to test this out if you need to. All right, so the first thing we're going to do is go up here to New, and it gives you some uh, kind of templates here that you can start with. Uh, otherwise, you can, can create your own kind of flow chart and everything, and... Um, uh, create your own from scratch totally or you can start with one of these so we're just gonna use one of these it's gonna randomly generate any one of these things and we're gonna use coast each time you create one of these uh, coast things it will it will generate a different random kind of coast so we have this one here for example if we go to new and do it again you'll see it's 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 different so let's just keep this one for now right here is the end node and uh, the end node is you know, has all these filters and creates what, what your terrain is so this is where we want to actually um, uh, this is what we actually want to generate a build from so uh, one thing we're going to do is we're going to uh, right click on this I'm going to rename it because this component type is C so th this is a gradient this is a range this is a C so let's name this we're just going to name it coast example and you'll see why I did that in a minute uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to go over here. We have the these set properties are for each of these boxes. You want to click on the build tab. We're going to do a normal build. We're going to uh, do the build at 1024 because that's the maximum we can do with the free community version of Gaia. Uh, then we're going to go down here to uh, where the range is and this is proportional. I'm going to go ahead and, and go with raw to, to show you how that works. You can actually experiment with one any of these different ranges if you want to, uh, but we're going to go with raw. And uh, then we're going to go down here to where it says build destination. And we're going to, s it's it will create a builds folder the first time you do this. We're going to select the builds folder. So that's where it's going to put all the files. Uh, so now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to go here and we're going to we're going to mark this for export. And we're going to go back up here and this box appeared up here with the graph. And it's going to name it Coast Example. It's going to generate a TIFF. You want to change this to a ping uh, because the TIFFs won't, the TIFF um, terrain map won't actually work with uh, uh, World Painter, at least not now. It, it will understand the ping, though. So that's just something to be aware of. So then we're going to just start our build. And it's going to ask for the name. And the name it wants is a, is a name for a .tor file, which is this this file here that creates these flowcharts and so you can go back and readjust your terrain and then regenerate another um, map uh, or texture file for it or a terrain texture file for it. So I'm going to just name this uh, Coast, unless you call it Coast Main, since it has a different name on it. And so we can always go back to that later. So now it's generating uh, the maps that we need or the, or the files, the textures. And so this is our builds folder, and it's generated these different um, textures, these different ping files. The one we're going to want is going to be the coast example ping. So let's go into World Painter now. 
So what we're going to do is we're going to go up here to file and we're going to go uh, import from a height map. We're going to click on that and we're going to select we're just going to use the coast example ping here. Open that up. We want to make it a, a, a 1.18. Now we need to adjust the heights here a little bit because now everything's underwater currently. Now if we go back to uh, Gaia, right here we put raw as the range and so because we put raw we have to do an adjustment to the height of everything and that's why it's underwater or one of the reasons it's underwater. Uh, so uh, we've selected Minecraft 1.18 or later uh, and uh, we have to go down here and you'll see the mapping is from 0 to 65,280. That's what the mapping range is in Gaia and it's, con it's converting it over to the Minecraft range which is uh, 319 to negative 64 and uh, so with our map here we want to raise this up because our our water level is at uh, 62 and you want to leave it at 62 because when you're bringing this into a minecraft map you, we could just lower the water if we lower the water you'll see when you go into the minecraft map the, the rest of the water, you'll have this wall of water around the area that you built because um, the Minecraft, by default, when it generates it, it will, it will be at, at um, 62. So let's bring this level up here. And so this is, really, we're generating the surface anyway. And the negative 64 is stuff that's underground in Minecraft, which it it doesn't show within um, uh, it doesn't show within Gaia so as you see as we're raising this up you can see parts of land this would be like a top of a hill in each one as we click it up you see the higher levels are appearing So you can bring this up, you can adjust it by what you see, depending on how much of this you want underwater. We're going to bring it right up. When we bring when we bring it up to this level right here, it's actually there's no there's no no water left on this particular map because uh, the lowest level ends up being at uh, where there's land is, ends up at 49. So. Uh, Let's uh, bring it down some, so you can adjust it however you like. We're going to do it like this. We could bring more of this underwater if we wanted to. Something you can experiment with depending on your uh, particular um, your particular terrain and your particular map. So we're going to go OK. And it's generated this map. It's made it 1024 by 1024. And uh, so now we can bring this into Minecraft and take a look at what it actually uh, looks like. So we're going to do that now. And to do that, we just go up to File. We're going to go uh, Export and Export to a new Minecraft map. Uh, we're going to leave the map name as Coast Example. What you want to do is go down here and change this to Creative and make sure Auto Cheats are on so that you can fly around and look at the map. Uh, so we're going to go and export that now. And it will take a minute. All right, so when we open up Minecraft, it has our world here as a coast example. All right, so here's the terrain it generated. And we've brought it into Minecraft now. You can actually... Um, add to this in World Painter. We didn't go into that. Uh, over here, where there's a forest, this this here is actually map generated by Minecraft. This huge area here is 
uh, and actually beyond is what we generated, the terrain we generated right here. But what happens is, um, even though we had this set to generate ocean around it, sometimes it actually uh, creates small I islands adjacent to it. And I think this right here is actually something Minecraft generated. We've got like caverns in here. And it just happened to connect on to our uh, island. Uh, and sometimes you'll you'll find as you go off to the coast you'll find smaller islands farther off or even nearby so that's how you bring a terrain generated in Gaia into world painter and then create a minecraft world out of it I'm Mungo Dark Matter, and whatever you do, enjoy the day, enjoy playing Minecraft, and I'll see you soon. Don't forget to subscribe, share, and like.